Hey, it's Jared. We are looking at Google Glass 10 years later. This groundbreaking piece of technology that I'm wearing was announced 10 years ago, and I was one of the first to sign up for the Explorer program. I absolutely loved the idea of being able to have information in a heads-up display so that I wouldn't have to grab my phone or look up at a watch or anything like that. And Google Glass really was leaps and bounds before what was really available and you could utilize with watches. Now, I use a watch. I have the Apple Watch on right now. I have the Pixel Watch and I bounce back and forth between those, but none of them come close to what Google Glass was able to do for me. Now, I used Google Glass during some really amazing times of my life. When Google Glass came out 10 years ago, all of my kids were babies. I was having my third child, my first daughter, and I wore these in the operating room. My wife had a C-section and I'm in there wearing these, taking pictures, recording video and stuff of our experience through that time. And all of the little trips, whether it be trips to the snow in the winter or just running around in the front yard with my little kids, I was able to capture video while not having to do anything with my hands. I didn't have to hold a phone up and make that. I'm staring at the phone instead of staring at my kids. I didn't like that and I still don't like that. I love the fact that I can have a camera right here recording great moments all the time and they're glasses. They're something that I'm typically gonna wear anyways. Now, let me talk just a little bit about my experiences with Google Glass because I wore them all day, every day for many, many years until uh, the software updates started kind of getting behind and it wasn't up to date with the phones anymore and the camera was getting a little behind and its technology I put them down and stopped wearing them. And then, of course, Google eventually canceled the program altogether and last year canceled the enterprise program altogether. So it doesn't sound like they're going to be heading in the direction of something like this again. And I don't know where we're going, maybe with AR or something like that. But that's what this was all about, was trying out new things. And so for Google Glass, what I loved about it was being able to get phone calls, text message notifications, turn by turn directions and all of that stuff in a nice little heads up display so that I don't have to touch my phone or do anything. It was all voice activated. I'm able to take pictures and record and with it connected Bluetooth to my phone, I can still get notifications and actually answer phone calls using glass, but I can't do anything else because the application that goes on the phone is no longer available. I did sideload the most recent version of the application and I can't get it logged into Google. So there's no backing up of photos or anything like that unless I connect Google Glass to my computer using a cable and then I can copy everything over to back it up, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. There's other features that were pretty cool as well, like being able to post updates to Twitter and different things like that. I was able to share to social media directly from this device, and it truly was a hands-free way of interacting with my world and also with the online world. And we still don't have anything that accomplishes that. We have to use our phone or our watch or some sort of device that we have to be staring at. There is nothing that does this except for maybe, I guess, Snapchat came out with their glasses or whatnot, but that's platform specific. I was able to connect my Google Glass to Twitter, to Instagram, to a variety of different platforms. I could even post to my WordPress website directly from Glass, which was amazing. And all of these developers were coming out with these apps that did these different things that you could use with this platform. And it was a real bummer that it eventually just died off. I really hope that something like this does come back one day because this is the way that I want to interact with my technology is completely hands-free. So Google Glass 10 years later, obviously they're not super useful. And as you can see, my Google Glass setup is a little different than what was originally shipped with the Google Glass Explorer edition. When the Google Glass Explorer edition originally shipped, and here is my Google Glass case that it came in, it didn't have lenses. Now I wear prescription glasses and there was no talk of Google coming out with any sort of glasses or some lenses that would go into the frames. And so what I ended up doing was having some lenses custom made. 
These lenses right here were custom made by an optometrist who uh, seemed to be interested in Google Glass. These cost me a lot of money. I think it was like $1,200 or something like that. I sent off my prescription and, uh, and these were custom designed and fitted for the Google Glass frame. So this was my original Google Glass frame right here and I can unscrew the body from the frame itself. I'm thinking these words through here and then attach it to these. And then Google came out with a couple of different frame options that you could buy. And then I sent those off through my optometrist to have lenses made for those. And that's what I'm wearing right now. So if you look at what we have here, we have uh, the Google Glass uh, body or the, the device itself. And then we have the glasses, the frames, and the lenses. And I was able to wear these really comfortably. Now, they didn't really fold down at all. Like they, there was no way to kind of fold these down and, and make it a smaller, you know, it was, it was always kind of a pain and to carry these around. Actually, I think maybe they did. No, they didn't. There was no way to fold them down, but I didn't really care. I had my case. I can wear these. I would get battery life all day. I also had the earbuds that you can attach as well. And so there was earbuds that you could plug in uh, either a single one that would just go in your right ear. So you'd plug it in USB, micro USB, hook it right into your ear and you'd have better sound. Or I had the dual earbuds as well. And what was great about these is I could wear them to the gym. I could get all of my updates and everything. Didn't have to have my phone on me. It could be in my bag near me. And I could get everything, listen to music, all that good stuff right through Google Glass. And it was just a great experience. So I also would carry uh, this lens brush with me as well just to keep everything clean uh, and an easy way to keep my uh, Google Glass clean. And um, then there is a little tool in the bag here as well in case I wanted to switch between different frames. So Google Glass played an integral part in my life for a number of years because the technology was not advancing in a, in a way that made it more accessible and usable to me. Google Glass was that. I was able to wear these and capture photos and videos of what was going on around me completely hands-free. Playing with my kids, interacting with my kids, interacting with my work, and doing different things like that while wearing this device meant I could capture what was going on and not have to utilize a hand or have somebody else film it for me. It's crazy to me that we're 10 years later and there's no substitution for that other than flying a loud drone around you or something along those lines or using a 360 camera, which you still have to hold somehow. There just is no technology that accomplishes these things. And I really wish that there was. So 10 years after Google Glass, those are the things that I am missing for sure, is my ability to interact with my world and also my online world hands-free, being able to use voice activation and voice to accomplish different things, which we can do a little bit here and there with our devices, but not in the way that Google Glass was able to accomplish that. So it saddens me that we are 10 years later and we don't have have a solution like Google Glass. It's crazy that we are all caught up in this VR and AR world that we haven't quite figured out how to implement into the real world and real world usage yet. However, something like this was such a hit and a perfect solution if you just get over the fact that you had to wear this type of device on your head. And imagine how much smaller everything could be these days if the technology had kept advancing along with Google Glass as the years progressed. If you're seeing this video, maybe you're either a fan of this channel or subscribed to this channel and you've seen my other videos or you're looking for Google Glass content or something like that. If you had Google Glass or have any experience with it, definitely share that with me down in the comment section below. I'd love to reminisce for a little while with you down there. There are ways that you can continue to get your Google Glass to work. It just works very much in a limited way. As I mentioned before, in order to transfer content from it to your computer, you have to do that via cable. There is a application now that I tried installing and running on my phone. Uh, it was called uh, Glass Echo. 
and Glass Echo is an application you install on your phone and an application you sideload onto Google Glass, and that allows for better transfer of notifications and stuff like that. And there are also some applications that you can still utilize with it that will allow them to work. I was able to get my Google Glass connected to Wi-Fi utilizing a QR code tool that allowed me to put in my network SSID and my password and it generated the QR code so that I could get Google Glass reconnected to my local network. And then of course, Bluetooth connection still works simply pairing Google Glass to your phone using the Bluetooth menu. And that's how I was able to still make and receive calls, see and respond to text messages and stuff like that. So there is a data connection over Bluetooth between my phone and Google Glass for some of those basic things. But as I mentioned at the beginning, connecting to Google services, it no longer works. The Google Glass app cannot authenticate anymore. And so there's no auto backing up. There's no using turn by turn directions or any of those other services. You using Google Glass here in 2023. 10 years later after Google Glass was first launched. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Why do you think that we do not have technology like this, even though we're 10 years fast forward into the future from when this device originally came out? I'd love to discuss that down below and just, I don't know, why are we not living in a world where we have something even better than something like this that came out 10 years ago? I'm confused. Uh, maybe you are too. Let's talk about it down in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you're reminiscing with me and enjoying this trip down nostalgia lane with Google Glass. I hope you enjoyed some of the photo and video clips that I shared that were shot with Google Glass from many years ago when I used to wear this device all the time. I sure hope that Google or somebody comes out with something like this that is just as useful uh, here in the future because as I said, this is the way we should be interacting with our technology and our world in 2023. Hope to see you soon. Take care.